Hey guys, what is up? My name is Phoenix. I'm from Phoenix Teddy Airsoft, and today I'm going to be comparing two shotguns. The shotguns I've selected are the Tokyo Marui M870 and the new Jag Scattergun. Right off the bat, let's talk about pricing. The Tokyo Marui costs $380, while the Jag Scattergun costs only $175. Now the reason why the Tokyo Marui 870 is significantly higher priced than the Jag Scattergun is because the Scattergun is a clone of the Tokyo Marui 870, which means the 870's build quality is significantly higher than the Jag. The build quality of the metal and the plastic is heavier duty and built to actually last. While the Jag Scattergun is a clone of the 870, which means its build quality is a little bit cheaper, uh, a little flimsier material, and you won't feel it right off the bat, but age does show. And another thing the Jag Scattergun does not have over the 870 is the fact that it has no traits. The traits that are on there are very minute, and they are just painted on instead of laser engraved like the Tokyo Marui 870. The one thing the Jag Scattergun does have over the 870 in terms of external build is the fact that it comes with the tube extender, which doesn't do anything functionality wise, but it does give you a more aggressive looking shotgun. And just like most shotguns in the airsoft market, the Jag Scattergun is compatible with most shotgun shells, ranging from Tokyo Marui to UTG, allowing you to use your shotgun shells if you already have them or allowing you to make more universal airsoft shotgun purchases. And as a bonus, the Jack Scattergun actually drops the shells when you pull the release lever all the way back. But sadly, the Jack Scattergun committed the same sin as the Tokyo Marui by having the release lever on the left side of the trigger guard. This is insanely aggravating to me as a right-handed shooter. But enough about build quality. Let's go right into compatibility. And to start off, I will compare the two gas tanks to see if they are interchangeable with one another. So as a control, let's go ahead and start with the scatter gun with its own air tank. All right, seems good. Now let's go ahead and swap the gas tanks out. So it seems the Marui gas tank is not compatible with the Jag scatter gun because if you look closely, you will see that the nozzles in each gas tank is significantly different than the other. But it's not going to stop me there. Let's see if the scattergun gas tank works perfectly well in the Tokyo Marui. Okay, once again, as a control, let's go ahead and start with the Tokyo Marui with its own gas tank. Okay, seems to be working pretty well. Let's go ahead and switch out the tanks. Surprisingly enough, the Jag Scattergun tank does work in the Tokyo Marui, but because of the difference in nozzle size, it loses a lot of its gas pressure because of that tiny, tiny little bit of measurement distance differences. Now that we got that squared away, let's go ahead and move on to the chrono. For this chrono test, I will be using Elite Force 0.2, ooh, shit. Elite Force 0.2 gram BBs and green gas. And when I chrono, I will chrono both these guns and first six shot burst and then three shot burst to see which one is closer to the 400 FPS limit. First up is the Tokyo Marui on six shot. All right, let's switch over to try. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the Jag Arm on six shot. So both guns kind of were a little inconsistent in terms of gas efficiency, but that's to be expected with any kind of gas platform because they're really finicky, especially in different 
climates of weather. For example, they would shoot hot during hot summer days, but then they'd shoot incredibly weak during the cold winter days. But that's to be expected with a gas weapon. But let's go ahead and move on to the accuracy and range portion. All right, guys, so uh, I have a target set up down range at about uh, somewhere between the 70 and the uh, 100 foot mark. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to try shot and see how many BBs actually hit him. We're going to start off with the Tokyo Marui. Let's get this started. This is going to hurt. Let me go ahead and convert that to three actually first. Okay. Get me a shell going. All right. You ready, Waffle? All right. I'm try I'm swear I'm not trying to do that. <laughs> Right in the chest. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. That one was in the nets. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not trying. But okay. All right, so that was one full mag on try shot. I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. I can't control the spread. All right, guys. Now let's uh switch it over to the jag arms and let's see how it performs. Once again on try shot. Oh, by the way, I forgot to close the window. I forgot to mention that I'm using two eight BBs in both of these guns for the accuracy test. Oh, huh. oh. oh fucker. They seem to be hopping quite a bit. That's uh, that's a big hop. Shit. <laughs> I'm aiming center mass, and they are hopping over his head. Let's try going lower. Oh. Okay, that's a whole mag. Um, I'm noticing a pattern. Uh, it seems as though that the Jag Arms has a better fixed hop up. Okay, so we know that both shotguns shoot in uh, three shot and six shot variants. So now. The target is still at the same distance. I swear I'm not going to hit you in the nuts if I can help it <laughs> with six shot and see how far or consistent the spread is. First off, we're going to start with the Tokyo Marui, the original. All right, you ready? Yep. yep. <sighs> Fingers crossed, right? Weird. Oh. They are dropping really hard. Well, I guess that's it for that. All right, guys, let's switch it over to the Jag scatter gun. Again, on six shot. And it's important to remember that when you have the shotgun on six shot, to be wary of your ammo because you are wasting ammo twice as fast. But it does what the shotgun is supposed to do. Once again, fingers crossed. You ready? Yep. yep. All right. Here we go. Let's do that first. Okay, I guess that's the end of that mag. Um, let's bring my target back down here and get his two cents on how both these shotguns perform. Okay guys, that concludes the range and accuracy portion of this video. I am here with my human target known as Waffle, and he will take you through his two cents onto how both these guns performed because he was on the receiving end of both of them. Now Waffle, what are the bullet points that you want to go over? All right, I got four bullet points for you guys. The first one's going to be accuracy, the next one will be range, then it will go to consistency, the last one will be power. So the first one is going to be accuracy. Accuracy is going to have to go to the TM. He said that he was aiming at my chest with the jag arms. He went right under my, or, uh, right over my head. Well, this one he was aiming right at my chest with the TM, hit me right in the chest every single time. 
All right, the next one is going to have to be range, and range is going to go to the jag arms on this one. You can definitely tell the BBs are going further with the ones that missed, and you can definitely feel the oomph behind it when it was going and whizzing past your head. Uh, next one is going to have to be consistency, and consistency goes to TM. All six shots most of the time landed on me, while the six shot on this guy, uh, jag arms was about one to two BBs hit me at one time. Same thing for three shot, all three would hit me at sometimes. This one, one or two at most. Never all three hit me, so keep that in mind. For power, it's gonna have to go for jag arms though. This thing smacks you hard. That one feels like a tickle compared to this, but still, airsoft, neither one feels nice. All right guys, next we're going to compare aftermarket parts. For example, uh, the TM has a lot of aftermarket parts on the market right now. Most famous is the Angry Gunstock. What this is, it's a, uh, again, it's an aftermarket part that converts your caveman-like buttstock into a tactical pistol grip and buffer tube assembly, which is useful for a lot of people because, myself included, I prefer the AR platforms, and this is just a lot more comfortable for me to hold, and also, you can convert it into an HBA if you wish, but I'm going to see if the Tokyo Marui Angry Gunstock is compatible with the Jag Arm Scatter Gun. All right, guys. Um, at first glance, I don't think it's going to work because there is a huge gap in between the two pieces. But I'm going to go ahead and hook up the gas tank to see what happens. Let's see? As you can see, it does not work. So, aftermarket parts, although they are close to fitting, do not actually work with the Jag scatter gun. You may be asking yourself, Phoenix, what real incentive do I have to buy the Jag shotgun over the TM shotgun? Even though the Jag shotgun has a lower price range and a few minor details here and there that's separated from the TM. Well, the Jag just doesn't come in the long shotgun variant. It actually comes in a compact variant equipped with its own Angry Gunstock clone with its own buttstock, its own pistol grip, shorter barrel, and a side chassis for your shotgun shells for only $250. All right guys, so uh, what we're gonna do now is test the gas efficiency for both the shotguns, and we are going to start off with the TM. We're going to start with six shot because that is the most gas expelling mode. Okay, so one magazine. I'm gonna try to keep track of my shots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess that's seven. Eight. <laughs> Eight. New shell. 13? Ish. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so I'm going to guess 13 because after that, the gas starts getting so weak that it just kind of spits the BBs out barely. Let's uh, move on to the Jag Scatty Gun. Again, on six shot. Let's see if this does any better. Safety first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Technically seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's go 29, because after 29, that I can tell that they immediately start dropping. But that is a significant improvement 
over the Tokyo Marui's gas efficiency. Okay guys, let's test out the gas efficiency with three shot on both weapons and see whew, how many shots this thing can handle. Let's start off with the Jag since it won the six round or six shot. One. Oopsie. 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 Um, oopsie? Okay. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Oh. Wait. Ha! Technical issues, I'm sorry. Wait, what was I on? Twenty-one. 21. 52. Oh my god, my arms hurt. Let's cut it off at 51 because after 51 they start to drop immensely, but let's keep going just a little bit more. 53, yeah. Alright, so technically 53 shots on just the Jag. That is incredible! Alright guys, let's move on to the Tokyo Marui, the original. And once again we are going to stick to a try shot to see how well this thing does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten technically. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty, twenty one. Oops, I grabbed an empty shell. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. It's got 25. So, okay, that's literally half of what the Jag Arms can shoot. Um, that's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty large difference in terms of both these weapons' gas efficiency. All right, guys. That does it for this video. I think that the results show that the Jag Scattergun is a decent and cheaper alternative to the Tokyo Marui M870 for those who are looking for a decent airsoft shotgun to add to their airsoft armory. However, if you do plan on buying this gun, I would err on the side of caution because it is still a Gen 1 product. And from my experience, Gen 1 products usually have some kind of fault with them in the near future. But don't let that deter you from buying the Jag Scattergun if you so wish, but I would recommend waiting for Gen 2 to come out, or buying the Tactical version so that way it's not a big a pain on your wallet as opposed to buying the Tokyo Marui base and the aftermarket parts in order to achieve that sought after shotgun look. However, it is insanely hard to argue against the Tokyo Marui's performance, reliability, and durability. This thing has stood the test of time for the number of years it's been on the airsoft market and it is still the most sought after airsoft shotgun. But, can the Jag Scattergun step up to the challenge and take the crown of best airsoft shotgun away from the Tokyo Marui. Only time will tell. Until then, my name is Phoenix. I'm from Phoenix Teddy Airsoft and I will see you guys in the next video. We want a shotgun that spreads. Spreads the love. <laughs> Don't hug me. <laughs>